Ponyton. Pony Ponytop. Ponyton. Ponytop. Pokemon. Ponymon. Knock knock. Who's there? Horse. Horse who? Horse? Nay, I am not a horse. Did you just make that up? Maybe. I wanna do one. Go. Um. Um. Uh. uh oh, where do horses like to go when they visit LA? Where? where? Canner's Deli. <laughs> okay, okay. Um. What is. What happened when the, the horse got caught robbing a bank? Uh, what? He said, let's hoof it. <laughs> no. All right, we cannot keep making up dumb horse jokes for this whole episode. Of course we can. By the way, I'm Pokekels. And I'm Rancher Alex. We're doing Mudsdale today, so don't be surprised if there are more horse jokes. What is it called when you have a horse that is in love with Fred Savage from the Wonder <laughs> Years? Winnie Cooper. Oh! Take it all the way to the bank. Take it all the way to the bank. That's it. That's the horse joke. Oh my god. Stop the episode right here. <laughs> Roll the credits. That's the last one. That's the best one that I've ever done. That was good. Mudsdale, the draft horse Pokemon, has incredible strength and stamina. The Pokedex says it can pull a load of over 10 tons for three days and nights without rest. It's also a well-known ride Pokemon in Alola where it's used to traverse difficult terrain. But some Alolan cities have banned it on paved roads because its heavy footfalls actually crack the asphalt. As a young Mudbray, it spends its time frolicking in mud, which naturally gets caked onto its feet. The mud eventually hardens like armor and provides protection, but it also helps Mudbray develop strong muscles for when it evolves. As ground-type Pokemon, Mudbray and Mudsdale have the kind of weird habit of chewing and eating mud. It's even said that Mudsdale's muddy spit was once used as a weatherproof coating in old Alolan homes. Strange as that is, they've been cooperating with people for a long time. Mudsdale are known for their emotional fortitude and can face any situation without fear. Its size and bulky mud guards make it slow, so it chooses its moves carefully, preferring to end battles with one well-placed kick. Let me tell you, kicks from horses are super dangerous already, and Mudsdale's like a super horse wearing natural brass knuckles. Don't mess with that. You're quite right, it's a super horse. Mudsdale's whole jam is inspired by draft horses. I mean, just looking at its species name can tell you that. Draft horses? Did they join the Navy? I have a fantasy football team that I need to draft horses to. <laughs> I think we're getting better at this. We're not, but this is Animal Influences. If you've ever seen a horse that looks like it was meant for an orc to ride instead of a puny human, it was probably a draft horse. They're bred to be big, strong, and reliable, and they've been used to carry heavy loads and pull plows for centuries. And like Mudsdale, they're known for their gentleness. Most draft horses are between 16 to 19 hands high, hands being a measurement exclusively used for horses, and each hand is about four inches, or exactly four inches, it's exactly four inches. The biggest horse ever recorded was aptly named Mammoth and was 21.2 hands high, but converting Mudsdale's eight foot two into hands, it totally shatters the record at 24.5 hands. Eat that, Guinness Book of World Records. Fictional creature beat you. So there, gotcha. But of course, we can't forget to mention the Clydesdale, the breed of draft horse that Mudsdale gets its name from. Clydesdales are one of the more popular breeds of draft horses thanks to the Budweiser Clydesdales, who've been repping Bud since the American Prohibition ended in the 1930s. Clydesdales are well known for their feathery feet. And before you shout Pegasus at me, that's a term for the thick, longer hair around their legs. Just like Mudsdale's muddy leg warmers, Clydesdale feathers protect their feet from the elements so they can focus on pulling their payload. And speaking of feet, Clydesdale hooves are the size of dinner plates, four times larger than a racehorse's foot. It's all support for that muscular body to help it pull over four times its body weight. Dependable horse, dependable Pokemon. And true, Mudsdale can pull five times its body weight, but this is animal influences, right? A little exaggeration never hurt in a fantasy story. Nice, got any more horse jokes? Um, what do you call a, what do you call a horse uh, uh, in Texas? Where does he go? Where? Gallup, that's New Mexico. Hey, that's okay, <laughs> we all run out of ideas eventually, don't worry about it. Oh my gosh. Hey, but you know who isn't out of ideas for VGC 2017 battle strategies for Mudsdale? Is it you? It's me, dog. get ready to get it! Pokemon! True to 
form, Mudsdale is an extremely bulky Pokemon, and with the ability Stamina, which boosts his defense stat every time it's hit with an attack, it can sometimes feel invincible. But thanks to its monster attacks that he usually ends up a little more aggressive than the other chunky boys. So let's try an Assault Vest set for him today. Start with an Adamant one and EV train it in attack, HP, and special defense. The Assault Vest boosts special D, but locks you into attacking moves only, so let's get right to it with a stab high horsepower. This is a solid move because even though it's a nice strong ground attack, unlike Earthquake, it only hits one Pokemon at a time. This gets Mudsdale around wide guard and also makes him a more agreeable teammate on the field since you don't have to worry about that spread damage. Rock Slide is a great coverage move since it hits both opponents and has the flinch chance. So to round out your coverage, pair it with moves like Heavy Slam to turn Mudsdale's immense girth against any fairy types, and Close Combat, which can be devastating to your opponent's normal types, especially if they're not expecting it. Keep in mind though that Mudsdale's pretty darn slow, and that means you're gonna have to get some pretty heavy hits in when you wanna do some damage. For this reason, we would strongly advise that you use this strategy primarily on Trick Room teams and try to switch Mudsdale in on something that isn't going to hurt him too much to help jumpstart that stamina boost right away. Do all that and victory should be yours in no time. But of course, that's not the only way to train a Mudsdale, so as always, here are a few random thoughts. You can boost Mudsdale's attack to stratospheric levels with a choice band, and lots of trainers totally do, but just in the same way we gotta be careful with Mudsdale's speed since he doesn't have protect, the choice band's gonna lock him into one move at a time, so play cautiously. Another way to go with this is the Life Orb, which has less limitations on your moveset at the cost of a little HP whenever you attack. Again, this is great, but really make sure you have a plan, because Mudsdale's an easy Pokemon to use incorrectly. Or if you're feeling cheeky, Mudsdale's not an awful candidate for Rest and a Chesto Berry, aka Resto Chesto, aka watching your opponent's heart sink as you heal all the way back up to full, but with two or three stamina boosts now. It doesn't work every single time, but stuff like this or Rest and Sleep Talk can be a fun and unexpected troll set when you're not playing best of threes. And finally, I would be remiss if I didn't mention another fun feature of the ability Stamina. Mudsdale gets a defense boost for every hit he takes, which means that if you can figure out a way to get his own partner to hit him with a Rock Blast or something first turn out, he'll get real buff real quick. Seems shady, but believe me, it works often enough. And that's it, Mudsdale. If he was in a movie with David Hasselhoff, it would be called Bray Watch. Awful, but hey, Follow the links in the description below to buy Dope Dex merch, listen to our weekly hour-long podcast, or join our official Discord where not only can you hang out with the cool Pokemon community, but I run weekly online tournaments that I also stream at twitch.tv slash bassianiae. And hey, while you're there, take a second to subscribe as well. Click on one of these giant horses. What? <laughs> no, they're boxes. <laughs> the giant boxes. <laughs> to see more, or if you have a second, why not take a second to tip your hat to our Patreon patrons who support us not only financially, but also in the confusing way that minoring in one thing can help support your major in another. What? I don't know, I'm running out of these. I'm Rancher Alex. And I'm Polka Kells. Tune in next week for another barbaric episode of The, the Dex. Dex.